Hi guys, thank you so much for viewing. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about Hurricane Ian that's just hammered the eastern side of America, in particularly Florida. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please go on YouTube and look at the devastation and the deaths that have been occurring there. So when we have these natural disasters, the first thing that comes out of the woodwork are conspiracy theorists. Are these events man-made and could they be to cause a reaction of something else happening? That's what conspiracy theorists ask, okay? So it's called um, problem, reaction, solution if you want to go Google those three words. So what these conspiracy theorists state in this instance is that there has been some sort of ma um, manipulation that has caused this event. Horrible, horrible, horrible when we think that somebody deliberately did this, right? But ultimately, we've got to also think of, is this God? Is this just normal weather formations that occur? So first of all, we've got to debunk why it happened, okay? Could this just be a natural reaction to the causation of the seasons coming into Florida where, ironically, at this time of the year, at this time and location, that's where they... Um, temperature fluctuations and all the other um, weather created has created this event okay I'm not up on my weather technology okay could it be something like that we don't know okay and the question here that I'm posing to a lot of people is why do we want to know what caused it as far as I'm concerned today sitting here I want to look at the people who have been impacted. I want to look at the livelihoods, the jobs, the schools, the children, the animals, the plant life, the marine life, everything else that has been affected by this event. That's where I'm at. I also want to look at why, um, in a sense, when I say everything happens for a reason, why does everything happen for a reason? Today I'm sitting here on my probably third day of watching this video. The videos of, you know, this helicopters flying over showing live feeds. There are people putting drones up showing houses filled with boats. Houses that are just stumps now. Um, three days I've been watching this where I haven't been able to talk about it. Because as an empath... I am thinking of those people who lived in those houses, people who owned those boats, people who can never return to their island life because the, the bridge is gone. Today I'm sitting here and I think I use simple words when I, you know, philosophies when I talk to people. And one of my philosophies is everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. Everything always will happen for a reason. And this is where it is so easy to get angry. It is so easy to blame. And we look for those answers to put that onus on somebody else instead of saying to ourselves, what could have I done initially to prevent that? Because in this footage I'm looking at, this house is totally gone. This, it's just an empty block of land. Yet the house next door survived it. There is limited damage. Why did that house survive and that house didn't? And then you look at the way it was built and what it was built from. Was that other place built from cheaper fabrics? We can't judge. But all we can do is another life lesson that I teach people. Always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's something else I live by. So in these events where it is so easy to blame and we want to create some sort of reason why this occurs, it's not necessary. 
Because ultimately, when we release our ego and we say, they know all, they know our past, they know our present, they know our future, everything does and will and did happen for a reason. You know, I had a conversation after that really bad tsunami. Remember the one that killed like half a million people? Did all of those people deserve that event? How can we ever answer that unless we look at each and every unique individual that died that day in that tsunami? How can we judge their lives? Were they good? Were they bad? Were they honest? Were they deceitful? We can't do that. We can never do that because then that is us judging them. And our lives here on this world is to not judge others. We only judge ourselves. We don't expect anyone else to do anything in their lives. We just allow them to do what they're doing because ultimately they have to punish themselves for their actions. So in this case of everything happens for a reason, try not to be upset or to blame others. And it's so easy to then turn around and say, well, I blame myself for the way it happened. But then you say, no, it is a lesson. These people today are facing lessons. Is their job so important? Where they were living, was it so important? Where are all those millions of people now living? They can't live in Florida. So they've moved elsewhere. So look at the lesson that they've got moving somewhere else, sharing their lives now with others. Look at the opportunities that this brings where people are now forced back into family homes and seeing people that they may not have seen in 10 years to reheal those past wounds and to rehash and to explain and to forgive what has happened in the past. So we look at the opportunities that these events bring and we sit there and we identify ways of that we can be a better person in our future. So then we don't blame, we don't accuse, and most of all, we don't form any regrets or grudges as to what happened. But we rebuild better and we hope for that future will be better than it was before. Because ultimately, that's all we can pray for. And today I've been doing so much praying for these people over there. I pray that they heal their pasts because this is the golden ticket opportunity for these people to actually say, what can we do better next time? I hope that you've liked this video and I hope that it gives you some peace and love that we don't judge people who go through bad things. Bad things happen to good people every day. And we're seeing it right now in Florida. So put your hand out to Florida. And all you've got to do is say, I send you healing, white love and energy. I, f I send you the forgiveness to not blame or accuse others. But instead, I fill your heart with that hope of what can be in your future. Talk to you all soon, guys. Bye.